The 8085 microprocessor is an 8-bit microprocessor designed by Intel in the mid-1970s. It was a successor to the 8080 and was widely used in early microcomputers. The name 8085 comes from its part number and it was popular for being compatible with a wide range of hardware and software. One, types of microprocessors. While the term types might refer to different families or variations of the 8085, it's more appropriate to classify microprocessors by generation or bit width. The 8085 belongs to the 8-bit microprocessor family, 8-bit microprocessors. These can process 8 bits of data at a time. The 8085 is an example of this, as well as others like the Zilog Z80. 16-bit and 32-bit microprocessors. These came later, offering more power and capability. Examples include the Intel 8086, which is 16-bit, and the Intel 80386, which is 32-bit. Two construction of 8085 microprocessor. The 8085 is built using NMOS, which stands for Negative Channel Metal Oxide Semiconductor Technology and has a 40-pin dual inline package, or DIAP. Let's break down its architecture and components. Key components of 8085 registers. It has several 8-bit registers, accumulator, or A, B, C, D, E, H, and L. It also includes a 16-bit stack pointer SP and program counter PC, ALU, which stands for Arithmetic and Logic Unit. This is responsible for performing arithmetic operations like addition and subtraction, and logic operations like AND, Oregon, NOT, and XOR. Control unit. This manages the execution of instructions and coordinates with other parts of the processor. Instruction decoder. It decodes the instructions fetched from memory. Interrupt control. It has five interrupt signals to handle hardware interrupts. Trap. Or as 7.5 comma or 6.5 comma as 5.5 comma an NTR system clock. It operates at a clock speed of 3 MHC ZART with a single instruction cycle requiring a minimum of three clock cycles. Bus system, it has three main buses. Data bus, which is 8-bit for carrying data. Address bus, which is 16-bit for addressing memory locations. Control bus for sending control signals like read and write. Uses of the 8085 microprocessor. Although the 8085 is now outdated, it had widespread use in various applications, especially during its prime in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Educational purposes. It's used in many computer science and electronics courses for learning the basics of microprocessor architecture and assembly language programming. Embedded systems. Due to its simplicity, the 8085 was commonly used in small embedded systems like traffic lights, washing machines and early industrial control systems. Basic computers. Early personal computers and calculators used the 8085 due to its simplicity and relatively low cost. Data communication systems. The 8085 was used in some telecommunication systems for signal processing, medical devices, some early digital medical equipment like monitors or diagnostic devices were built using the 8085 microprocessor. Advantages. Simple instruction set. Easy to learn and program in assembly language. Wide support. Compatible with a variety of peripheral devices and systems. Reliable. Used for years in education and low-level embedded systems due to its simplicity. Conclusion. The 8085 microprocessor played a significant role in the evolution of computing and microprocessor development. It remains an important learning tool for students and engineers who want to understand microprocessor fundamentals. While not as powerful as modern processors, its straightforward design and reliability made it a popular choice in its time for a range of basic computing tasks.